Hello, everyone. Welcome to this week's Additive Focus Friday edition, where we show you a tip on how to design for additive by utilizing our Lattice Commander feature within NetFab. I have a bracket here preloaded on NetFab where we're going to utilize the Lattice Commander feature, which you can access through the Modify ribbon, select the part, and when you select Lattice Commander, you'll see on the project tree, the part is then loaded underneath that. And we have features here as we edit this component, it's going to make different bodies in the list here. So I want to hollow this out first so I can have an area to put the lattice. I'll leave it at the default 3.158 millimeter to generate the hollow, and you can change it to a different thickness if you want. We have a clip planes tool here just to look inside of the part by clicking on it and then clicking on the rectangle. You can use a slider and then look inside of the part just to see that we've hollowed out. Great tool to look inside and see the geometry in there. And now that we've uh, hollowed the part out, going back, utilizing our um, original bracket, we can then create our volume lattice. And you'll see a preview here in red. This is just showing you a preview of the size of the unit size that we have input for the different lattice topologies. We have 25 of them to pick from. For this, I'm going to pick the X lattice, and I'm going to change the size of the lattice to be created. As you see, it's kind of big there in the preview. Um, we'll make it 15 by 15 by 15, and you'll see that it will update and show you a preview of the size so you know you got the lattice within the part. We also have the parameter to change the beam thickness. I'm going to make this 1.5 millimeter thickness, generate that. It's created your lattice now. And another great feature is we can apply a thickness gradient to the lattice created. So we can use these part sliders here and move them. I want to make the middle of this um, particular bracket. I want to make it uh, thicker from the top going towards the bottom. We'll make it... Uh, transition back to the 1.5 on top and as it goes to the bottom here we'll make it 3.5 millimeters just to show you have those options looking on here we got the xyz of what we just moved with the part placement arrows this is the bottom of the part i want to make this 3.5 millimeter and i want to make the top going back to the 1.5 as it uh, the gradient transitions back so hit generate and you'll see we've gotten thicker as we've gone down in the area that I wanted to change. We also have options on how smooth these uh, beams will be. I'm going to use super fine. The only difference is that you'll create more triangles as you get more accurate and more smoother. Now I also want to go back to the uh, hollowed part and show you how we can change the thickness of the skin and also get rid of the, uh, the skins on the part. By going and selecting that, we can go to Edit Body, and we have options of selecting uh, triangles, uh, the whole shell. I'm going to use Select Surfaces here and delete out some surfaces. That way, when we create the lattice, we'll be able to see it, and we don't really need those walls anyways. So let's delete that. Use Delete on your keyboard after you mark it. And one more feature I wanted to show is that you can thicken uh, a skin on here also. Going here to the right, you can just input whatever you want. I'll put it up two more millimeters to 5.158 millimeter, and it thickened this uh, cylinder within the top of the bracket. Finish. And now we have four components in here that we need to edit the component. Basically, you're editing the body of the component here. We have lattice sticking out of the part, for example. So we're going to assign a roll to the part. And there's different roles as you click through here and toggle through. We want to trim the mesh. The, the skin we want to make solid. Remember, I created a lattice and then I changed the lattice by making the middle of the bracket thicker. So we can ignore the first bracket or the first lattice and then make the second one solid. And there's options to how you want to generate this particular component part. Uh, the first one, generate part mesh, is more for organic type parts, more rounded parts. 
Uh, the second one is the one we're going to use. It's a generate part mesh legacy, which will keep the sharp corners on parametric type parts like this bracket. And then the third one, you can create a, a .nas file that you can then go take it into FEA software to verify, you know, how strong your uh, lattice topology is, for example. Basically, that's just making a volumetric uh, linear tetrahedra mesh that writes to uh, FEA software .nas file. So creating that, we're going to go up here and say generate component. And the part has completed here. All you have to do here is after that part is com completed, it will go into your uh, project tree here as a second uh, part. Just turn off these light bulbs under Lattice Commander, and um, you'll see your component is here. We've created this part with the lattice and lightweight of this part. You can look inside again with the clip planes tool and look at the lattice. Remember, we made the, the middle there thicker. So um, you have a nice smooth part here. And you can also compare it to the other part just to see what, uh, you know, how much volume we've saved on this particular part. So I have the two components here, select them both. And then under analysis, ribbon you can hit plat platform overview and then see that uh, the uh, cubic uh, centimeter here we've saved um, more than half lightweight in this part on uh, material that it would take to build this part thanks again for joining today's focus friday additive tips